Welcome back. I'm ADH Decent, let's get stuck in. Mastering Mod Organizer 2 Applications and Nexus Integration Now let's look at the drop-down bar above the right-hand pane. When you compile your Skyrim mods and applications, the drop-down bar is where you will access your installed applications. As you can see here on my example, SKSE, the script extender, and probably the most important one here. Loot, for organizing your load order. Finis, for character animations. Rybash, for creating one large patch for conflicting or incompatible mods. Body Slide, for adjusting the character presets, shapes, and sizes. Outfit Studio, for adjusting and creating clothing to fit said body types. SSE Edit, for allowing more detailed in-game editing to elements of either the base game or the mods installed. Under the Edit tab, you can add, remove and configure applications as needed. A nice little tip here is to select the Use Application icon for shortcuts option under each application to keep the icons clear and easy to recognize. To the right of the drop-down bar, the Run button to run the selected application and the Shortcut button, allowing you to create shortcuts to the application to your desktop, start menu, or within MO2 itself. Top tip. Shortcuts created through MO2 will have a different result to creating a shortcut from the EXE application itself. Running through MO2 will ensure that the data paths are all correct and the information is loaded in correctly. It's an easy mistake to make, but if you aren't aware of this, you could spend a lot of time trying to work out why there are blank boxes or no data when using these applications. Nexus Integration MO2 has the ability to directly connect and link with Nexus mods. This will allow you to download mods directly into your mod organizer, along with automatic checks on your installed mods for any updates or new versions. Along with this, each mod linked with Nexus mods will have the information available for it, along with the option to open a window to the official mod page on the Nexus mods site. If, for whatever reason, your MO2 isn't linked or you need to relink it, click on the settings icon in the toolbar at the top of the application window. Select the Nexus tab. Click Connect to Nexus. You will be prompted to accept this link on your Nexus Mods browser window. Approve it. Be sure to click the Associate with Download with Manager links button on this page to ensure Nexus Mods can download files directly into your MO2 Downloads tab. If successful, your MO2 window will say Connected on the Nexus tab. Here, you can enable or disable the ability for MO2 to prompt you to endorse mods you are using, displaying the heart symbol we discussed in episode one. Now we have linked Nexus mods and MO2. We can visit the information tab on any mods downloaded from the site. Right click on the mod of choice. You will see the option visit on Nexus. This will take you to the official mod page on Nexus mods. Click the Information button. A pop-up window will appear. If correctly linked, you will see the mod page displayed here. This window can be useful for mods with specific installation or compatibility requirements, as you can see these displayed without opening your browser. At the top of this window, you will see the mod ID bar relating to the Nexus mod's ID number. If this is missing or incorrect, the Nexus page will display the mod ID in the search bar of your browser. Take this number and type it into the box, then click Refresh. This window also displays the version number, which you can correct or manually change if needed. If the text is green, it is the latest version of that mod available. If it is red, it is either outdated or incorrect. You can update the version number here if needed. The tracking option, as discussed in episode 1, is also available here. Simply click the Untracked button to change it to Tracked, or vice versa. This will track the mod on Nexus 
and help with displaying out-of-date mods. You can also select or change the categories for the selected mod on this window by selecting the Categories tab and choosing the options to your preference. Good job! Perfect time for a brew. In our next video, we'll be looking at conflicts and load order. I'll see you there.